Hey, it's Elvis Cup Guy. Thought I'd do a short little video uh, to kind of explain my involvement with the Sony release of a Boy for Tupelo box set that came out a couple years ago. Um, you all that have not seen it, there's the box set. It's the American version. I also have the Japanese version here but the reason I'm showing you this is because inside the uh, packaging there's a booklet that comes with it a very informative book full of rare unpublished photos but if you open the booklet up to the first page Uh, you see a double-sided spread of Elvis on his bicycle in Memphis, 1947, right when he moved there with his family. And if you look closely, right there and read that see if I can get it to freeze frame I mean to be still there photo courtesy of Wade Jones and that's me the Elvis Cup guy and just to kind of share this with you a lot went into this you wouldn't believe just for them to license a photo for a book in a CD package it took two or three years. Uh, they had planned that far in advance and they had delayed it one time. But I'll show you here, I don't wanna go into my address or the amount, but as you can see, it says uh, license fee for a boy from Tupelo, but a license fee, Elvis Presley, uh, a boy from Tupelo and then if I go down to here in the check itself I'll cover up the amount but you see it's from Sony Music and they gave me uh, a check for a certain amount of money but anyway that's the story behind the uh, involvement that I had with Ellis Presley, a boy from Tupelo. They used my photo on the uh, opening page. As soon as you open it up, bam, there it is. And one more time. It's mentioned right there. So, it's something I'm really proud of. I've been an Elvis fan since I was 11 years old, and to have my photo used in the front page of, a, of an Elvis release, an official Elvis release, really a, a, a big thrill for me, and uh, I got one copy for free. So, 